need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can edit relationship links between tasks within your project file to allow for a lag time or lead time between tasks. For example, you could allow a day of lag time to pass between tasks. Alternately, you could allow for lead time, which is when you begin working on a second task before completing all of the work on a first task. You can edit the duration that's shown in the predecessors column within the Gantt chart view of your project file to enter a lag time or a lead time. To add lead time, enter the precedent task reference followed by the abbreviation for the type of link that the tasks share and then enter the value as a negative value to the precedent task reference. For example, assume that you've linked tasks 2 and 3 within a project file with a finish to start task relationship. In the predecessors column for task 3, you would enter 2FS minus 2D, which would give you a two day lead time on the task. You can enter either a specific value or you can enter the value as a percentage of the task. So, for example, entering 2FS minus 50% for task 3 would give you a 50% lead time based on the duration of task 2. If you wish to enter a lag time, then you enter the precedent task reference, followed by the abbreviation for the type of link that they share, and then enter that value as a positive value. So for example, once again assuming that you've linked task 2 and 3 in your project file with a finish to start task relationship, if you enter the value of 2FS plus 1D into the predecessors column for task 3, you would add one day of lag time to the completion of task 2 prior to starting task 3. Now just as with lead time, lag time can also be entered either as a positive amount or as a positive percentage. Note that you can enter the lag time and lead time within the task information dialog box on the predecessors tab within the lag column as well. If you enter it this way, you simply enter the amount to increase or decrease into the field available. Entering a positive value is considered adding lag time, and entering a negative value is considered entering lead time. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.